to another episode of Rail Meter. My attempts at bringing train, this train show thingy to your evening entertainment. Today I will be talking to you about five awesome steam locos from around the world and how they have made it into preservation. But that will be quite boring. So I'm going to make a bit of a game out of it and invite this guy to join us today. And then with the magic of video editing, you'll be on the split screen on the other side. So, hello! Hello, everybody! Yeah, this is Tommy Secker, the guy behind Cruisley Road 4472, a New Zealand train fan, and the guy who I said you, I'd be talking to <laughs> at the start of this yes. series. Well, so, let's get started then! Alrighty! We'll start off with an easy one. Oh uh, dear. This, uh, this locomotive has set um, world records for steam traction, becoming the first steam loco to be officially authenticated at reaching 100 miles an hour. And this is the Flying Scotsman. Uh, it gained great fame, the most famous steam loco in the world, and got, is now under the ownership of the National Railway Museum and is currently being completely restored in the hope they'll be ready next year. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Yeah, awesome. Great. <laughs> now for preservation sto story two. This is a slightly more difficult one now. The Great Western Railway Great Bear is the first ever Pacific Loco to be riding Great Britain. And it was saved from Barry Scrapyard in 1969 by record producer Pete Waterman. It is seen today hauling rail fan expresses along the East Coast Main Line. Now is that true? It is false. Yes! Tricked you there, yeah. Awesome. You've quite clearly been watching my videos before. That is quite a mythical train. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Though it did actually exist. Oh, well, now, yes. Yeah. Uh, preservation Story 3. Now, this is Black Prince, a 9F locomotive, purchased directly from British Rail by wildlife and transport artist David Shepherd. He re uh, this loco re-entered service in 2014 after a major overhaul and can be seen running to this day. Is that true? It is true. Can you see my script or something? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that is correct. You've got you've had perfect marks so far. Now for preservation story four. Now this might be a slightly tougher one. It's an A4. One of those being the fastest steam loco in the world, but it's not that. It's Dominion of Canada. Okay. It was withdrawn from at Darlington Shed on the 29th of May 1965, and it the loco had not been uh, repaired since the 12th of May, and it was basically left lying derelict for quite a while before it was donated to the Canadian Railroad Historical, Historical Association, Association by British, by Rail. British Rail. And, and this... this uh, uh, hang on. Hang on. That's not right. No, yes it is. And it's been preserved by their... It actually returned to England in 2013 for the Great Gathering. Now, I think you might have got that one. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that is true. <laughs> well done, full marks. <laughs> yes. Now for the last preservation story. Wow, this is going pretty quickly, isn't it? What can I say? Now, during World War II, America shipped 800 of these steam locos, known as S-160s, to Europe. To Europe. And, uh, and uh, they, they basically, basically helped, helped during the war effort. The war looked, effort. Very looked very American and quite, and quite odd, odd among, among the, the British steam locos in the UK. UK. But one, one of them was actually, actually saved from Poland by the Keithleyworth Valley Railway, my local railway and is there running to this day quite literally. I could literally go there today and see it up and running. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I probably gave it away there, didn't I? 
So, so the answer. Um, true. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Great, you got five, uh, all five of those preservation stories right. Woo! What, one of them not being true, so. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Rail Beader. Please do come back tomorrow when I might, and I, let me express this, I might be doing another collab with a different train enthusiast. Not quite so far away, so <laughs> not so far away that it's quite literally morning over there when it's evening over here, or and vice versa. <laughs> yep. Um, but, uh, and it, yeah, an English train enthusiast who will probably be talking to us uh, about something around the lines of the Hornby Collectors Club and how it is such an awesome thing. So, until then, thanks a lot for watching and bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>